Oh, hi, Harry. Uh, can I want to? Your your pixel art's really good. Can I commission you to do a a animation for me, and my YouTube channel, and my 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 twi my Twitch? I I I do Twitch, and I and I'm and I make YouTube videos. Can I have some of your super cool pixel art for my stuff? Yeah, no worries. That that that'll be about like 250 quid maybe. Maybe 125 if it's really simple, but maybe like 500 if it's really really complicated. Th these are kind of just for personal use stuff, for, like videos and things. Um, if you're like a big business, it's probably gonna be different. But yeah, n no worries. I'll I'll get right to it. Uh uh uh. I'll show you how I do it. Let let's let's go. That's a mess. Yep. You're right there. Wow, look, this is where he sits. It's a mess. Whoa, look at look at you go. You've got a Cintiq. Wow. So is this what you use, Harry, for your for your animation commissions? Yeah, yeah it is. It, it's a Cintiq. It's a Cintiq 13 HD, I think. For the longest time, I just had a really simple, tiny little bamboo tablet that was about a quarter of the size. And I still got on with it and I could do everything fine. This is just really nice. I'd say it's definitely not vital. You don't need it. But there you go. That's what I use. Um, and what are you using there? Let's zoom in. Ah, oh, look at him. What an absolute fool. Why doesn't he just use Clip Studio? It's a one-time payment. The answer is I just don't know. I feel like I should. And I should just stop. Paying for this, but as just some guy doing, trying his best at freelancing, um, this is one thing that I can at least claim back on, you know? So that's, that's something. Anyway, enough about this. Let's, let's get started with this commission. Uh, so I just thought I'd do something like slightly differently today, maybe. Um, and just essentially uh, go through like the process of doing a little commission because this th this commission that I did it was a few months ago now it was just a little opening animation for someone's Twitch channel. Um, I'll, I'll post their 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 Twitch in the in the in the description, um, so you can go check it out. Um, they're really cool and really easy going and nice to work with, and they had a really simple idea and they knew what they want wanted and I just felt very sort of like it was it was it was quite easy for me to just get started and do it um so it was good it was a nice little a, a little calm commission that intro was just a little bit of a joke but like f yeah I mean this is just I guess for for anyone in the similar position that just wants a little animation um I just thought I would I would sort of give you a little example maybe of the process so Anything that I'm about to say is not necessarily about this commission at all, but I mean, it's just a general idea of like how I work and how I do things. Everything's different. Every commission's different. Things, things are just done differently. Different people want different things. They've got different budgets. It's all, it's tricky. It's always tricky. In general, I've had commissions from really nice people and everyone's really sort of chill and easygoing and I very much appreciate it. So anyway, yeah, this this commission was just to do a, a sort of a calm little landscape in pixel art and give it a sort of a, a gentle animation, um, just sort of atmospheric animation. And I was like, damn, that's just totally my vibe. I can do it. Easy, I got it. I know exactly what you want. And I did it and they were really pleased with it. So as all these pixel art pieces begin, um, I opened a file, 400 by 225 pixels. I got the pencil tool and I was away. I'm drawing with pixels. We're doing things, we're making stuff happen. Um, so that's what I'm doing in general here. Um, I might speed up elements of this video just to get through it. Um, but I'll try and stop and, and, and show you like the key points. So, um, you know, this is, I think I had sketched out just a little, I'd sent him a little really rough sketch of just some mountains and some hills and some clouds. And that was kind of just the simple natural vibe that was wanted. I was just sort of blocking in shapes, blocking in flats, uh, 
and then filling the environment with sort of very natural things, lots of rock formations, adding a bit of flat sort of shadow and light work into the things. But I often also wait till the end to like do the lighting, which just means sort of like doing overlays and shadows and things like that. Things that would make um, pixel art purists completely sort of lose their nut um, just because I'm using like an overlay or like something else just to affect the color. So something that they maybe need to chill out about because, you know, using current technology to make pixel art bigger and better and keep up with the times. That's all it is. Still pixel art. Anyway, I've had commissions for people just ask me to just do a simple pixel art illustration, like whether that be for like a like a, a banner or something, or, or maybe obviously I've had a couple of little concept art commissions, uh, you know, of, of like backgrounds and, and, and sort of level design. But in general, that's like few and far between. But yeah, I just thought this was like a good example, like a clear, simple example of like the type of stuff that some people ask me to do. The way that I describe it often as well is that like, I'm sort of building a set, like with a lot of my landscapes and pixel art and animations in general, I have a very clear vision in mind of what's like in the background, what's in the middle ground, what's in the foreground. And I know to keep all the layers sort of separate. So when it comes to animating, it makes things much easier. Um, so I think that's a good starting point is just to make sure that, you know, you know where things are going, like, and things, you know, things don't have to always be super detailed. Uh, things in the far background can be super simple and often just doing like a one color faded mountain in the background is all you need for a background um you know the foreground slightly more detailed and playing around with like pixel uh width for um the the foreground middle ground and background is something to get used to as well um so for example on this bit i start adding um little uh I start adding little flowers to the to the sort of foreground and and the middle ground in sort of the middle distance all the all the flowers are just single dots so they're single pixels and then maybe the foreground ones I can't remember exactly but they're sort of like at least like four pixels um big uh and sort of that just like gives an impression of distance as well so yeah then uh this 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 video doesn't explicitly show it oh wait Hold, hold up, hold the phone. Um, let's see, do I film the animation process? Yeah, I think I do just a little bit. What I ended up doing is, so I I got a bunch of the flowers in the foreground and I uh, with the lasso tool, I just sort of separated them. So I put them into groups and I scattered them around. So like there was one layer that had a fl few flowers dotted throughout, another layer was a few. So I, I split up all the, fl the flower layer into multiple different layers that were all sort of crossed over one another. So I got my frames, I went to the time, uh, the timeline, and I would go through, and with the arrow keys, I'm just going through frame by frame and sort of slightly moving the uh, flowers, like left and right, up and down, just by like one pixel maybe. The combination of the flowers being sort of mismatched uh, and also just changing the direction so some flowers move left a little bit while others move right it adds this sort of element of like a windy windy day like a just a gentle breeze and the flowers are sort of like moving just a little bit i hope i explained that well and hopefully you can see what i'm talking about it's super simple it's a way of doing animating where you're not actually even redrawing anything you've just got the object and just with movement you've added that sort of little bit of animation that sort of gives it a nice vibe. Certain things are hard like grass moving or, or like trees blowing, like you're gonna probably have to do a little bit of redrawing. But with things like these little flowers, just there's not much to it, it's, it's kind of easy. Next, I move on to the, the cloud layer. I've talked about this before, but I've drawn my cloud layer in the back and because I want it to scroll and repeat, I duplicate the layer move it along and then on the join I sort of separate it a little bit uh, and then I just sort of rejoin it uh, if that makes sense I like uh, I just fill in the gap 
sort of stitch together the two layers just so when one one cloud layer moves along the screen it's just repeated again and the the, the sort of the seam is seamless if that makes sense the trick is with a really smooth rolling cloud layer is that you uh you position the the you position you position the clouds at the start on the first frame and then you make as many uh you make as many frames as you need uh, normally, basically, the, the more frames, the smoother it's going to be, essentially. I suppose you could work it out. Probably, like, a multiple of uh, 400 is probably the way to work out, because if you want it to move, like, pixel by pixel, you're going to want to sort of make it uh, something like that. Why is it so hard to explain this? Jesus Christ. Let me start again. This is just bullshit. You get to the point where you've duplicated your cloud layer, and you've got these two identical cloud layers joined together, so they're seamless. So if you moved it along, um, it would it would get to the second second version, and then it would repeat. You you make a bunch of you make a bunch of frames, and on frame one it's situated there, and then you go to the last frame of your animation, and you bring it all the way along. You move it to sort of one pixel away from the original position, if that makes sense. You then go to tween, selected layers, and just the position. So you're, you're editing, you know, the, the, the tween, the movement is only affecting the position of the frame. And essentially, that should now be a scrolling cloud layer that repeats. You might want to change the number of layers depending on how smooth you want it. Uh, the number of frames that is, sorry. But essentially that's it. And then the rest of this video is me just sort of editing the lighting. I'll sort of have a base idea of what I want the colors to be, but then I really enjoy messing around with overlays, hard light layers, multiply layers, all sorts, soft light, um, and just sort of adding and divide as well. And just adding sort of effect layers to affect the lighting. Um, it's a lot of fun. You can create a lot of cool distance and effects, especially on like horizon colors and, and making things misty or um, all that. Um, so yeah, it's fun to mess around with colors. You can change the type of time of day, you know, like sunset, you can put like orange hues over the whole thing. Um, even changing it to nighttime, it's like all I have to do is really change the sky and the clouds a little bit. Um, add some stars and then just do some sort of purpley blue overlays um, and that sort of will make it make it a nighttime scene very easily very quickly and yeah I think it was fun it, it worked out well like I'm it's nothing I feel like it's nothing crazy it's a very simple um, idea but it's quite effective I feel like maybe I would do more like leaves blowing in the wind possibly or like, you know, that anime thing of like when grassy fields are blowing and the sort of the, the, the highlight moves from the sun's rays, like moves across the, the field. Um, I could have done that. Maybe I've done that in some animations. I don't know if this video has come across very well. I don't know if this is uh, like useful to watch. I'm, I am truly really shit at explaining the ins and outs of using Photoshop. Um, I'm not good at doing tutorials. Some people might find this useful, but if I was watching this, I'd be like, what have you said? You haven't said anything. You've just gone, I did this, then I did this, then I did this. And you're going to be out there trying it. And I feel like you're just not, you're not, you won't be able to follow me because I haven't explained it very well. If you would like to commission me to do something for you, then please get in touch. Uh, my email is on my website. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little setup and what I use. I'm sorry it's been a while that I haven't uploaded a video. It's been kind of weird. I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhere with my graphic novel. Um, I'm kind of, kind of trying to spend time on writing that. Um, it's going okay. I'm grateful for you sticking with me and watching my stuff. Um, even if at the moment it's a bit few and far between appreciate the support there's lots of crazy shit going on in the world constantly um support support those in need you know look after yourself as well um i hope you're doing all right out there 
Um, I, I'm gonna try. I've got some ideas for doing some cool little drawings. Who knows when I'll be able to do them? But they're they're on they're on their way. I appreciate you watching this little video. I hope it was useful, even if just a little bit. You have been listening to Chaotic Good Radio. I've been the Poncho Pilgrim. I'll see you again sometime, sweet children of the internet. I'm very grateful for your support in these in these terrible dark times. I hope this little meadow landscape has brought some peace and quiet um, to, to your lives. <laughs> um, all right, bye.